If you've been waiting for Austin home prices to drop, I have some good news for you. According to our latest stats, it looks like we might have already hit the peak of the market in 2024. So stay tuned for this market minute. I'm going to break down all the stats and what they mean for you as a home buyer. So the Austin Board of Realtors just released the latest stats. Now these stats are always one month behind, so this is showing what happened in June. But in the city of Austin and also the greater area of Travis County, home prices came down month over month when you compare it from May to June. So what this is showing is that it looks like a sign of normal seasonality. I say this on almost every video, every single year, our home prices follow a graph that kind of looks like a roller coaster. So we start to see home prices going up in the spring from like March through June, July. They usually hit the peak of the market in the summer months and then prices start to fall a little bit once school starts and we hit the holiday winter months. It's just when most home buyers are moving, families with kids move in the summer, people are highly distracted at the end of the year with all the holiday seasons. So it could be that this year that we peaked in the month of May and things are starting to taper down a bit. We'll have to see another couple of months um, of stats to know for certain, but that's what it appears to be because we usually follow that typical pattern. Now here's some other things that could be putting um, a damper on prices this year. For one, a lot of people are waiting to see what the Fed will do in September. Now, earlier in the year, they had acted like they were gonna cut rates six times, everyone got excited, and that obviously did not happen. So now um, the prediction's been that they were gonna hold steady, and then recently Jerome Powell said that they're likely going to cut rates probably in September. Now, I can't put my faith into all of that. They're, they can change their minds as well, depending on if new data comes out between now and then. But a lot of people are predicting that in September, we might see a slight reduction in rates. How big of a rate cut? Who knows? Will it actually happen? Who knows? So here's my advice. If you are someone that actually needs to buy a home right now, like you're renting somewhere and you're just waiting on the Fed's decision, I would recommend getting a home that you love and focus on just lowering your monthly payment. I recently did a video that had six ways that you can lower your monthly payment despite having the higher rates. And a lot of our home buyers are doing that right now and they are scoring big because there's less competition with home buyers right now. We have tons of inventory, almost six months across the Austin market. So you've got lots of choices. New construction is giving you all kinds of discounts. They're buying your rate down. They're paying all your closing costs, just doing some crazy big incentives. So if you can just buy now and find something you can comfortably afford and something that you truly love, then it's a great opportunity to take advantage of the slower market. Because if rates do come down, more buyers who've been waiting will re-enter the market and potentially that could push prices up a little bit. Now, I don't think we're going to see anything crazy like we saw in 2021 where our prices just went up drastically because the rates should not come down that much. Um, the only reason they came down that much was because we had a global pandemic, which was a completely unprecedented thing that we had never experienced before. So we're not expecting rates to go way back down into the twos or threes unless there's some huge global disaster, which hopefully we will not see you know, anything like that again. So expect maybe a smaller um, rate cut, but a little bit of increase in buyer competition, which ultimately drives up some prices. Now, if you're planning on selling your home first in order to buy another one, don't get you know panicked and think, okay, now the prices are declining. I missed the peak of the market. You can sell your home at any time throughout the year in Austin. It's just that it may take a little bit longer or be more challenging if you're waiting until the fall winter months, but homes sell year round. So our, a lot of our clients have been selling their homes fairly quickly compared to the average. We've had several listings this year that sold within a week. We've had several that have sold within a month. Although the average right now across the city is just around two months or so to sell a home. So go in there with the right mindset, knowing that it may take some patience. You might have to you know, offer some incentives or be willing to negotiate a bit more than you had hoped just to compete you know again with new builders and all the other options that buyers have you definitely need to be able to price your home 
you know, correctly where it looks like the best deal, or like I said, be willing to offer a bit of an incentive to help people offset those rates. But you can definitely sell and buy. We've helped many people do that this year and have been very successful with it. As always, if you have specific questions about your situation, you can contact me directly using the contact links below. If you have general questions or comments about the Austin market, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think and what you think your predictions are.